Welcome to the Organic Chemistry Podcast, Dr. Brian Lloyd's Scribblecast of Organic Chemistry Lectures and Solutions to Homework Problems. In this Solution to Homework Problems, we are given a series of reactions for which we are asked to give the products. The first reaction involves this bicyclic ring. a double bond here. And in the first reaction, you ask to react it with ozone, O3 gas, and then follow that by zinc and acid. Now remember, ozone, ozonolysis, cleaves double bonds, producing malozonides, which go on to the ozonides. They are never isolated, but if you react them as zinc and acid, the double bond is cleaved and replaced by two double bond O's. So if I draw that, So where the double bond was, there are two double bond O's. So I'll put dots to symbolize my carbon so they're easy to see. So very large cyclo, I believe we have 10 carbons here, cyclodecane with two ketones. So it looks like we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it looks like a 1, 6 cyclodecane diome is produced. Now the zinc reaction would not convert H's attached to the double bond to OH's. But in this double bond there are no OH's. So whether you use zinc or peroxide, you get the same thing. And the second reaction was peroxide. In this case, there is no difference in the product that is produced. In question B, you have the same bicyclic ring, but the double bond is in a different position. Double bond is here. So if I put dots for my carbons, just to make them stand out, And I hit it with the same two reagents. The first one is zinc H+. What's interesting off of this double bond, there are some H's. Zinc, as I said, leaves those H's intact. So I can draw my product I'm going to have a double bond O form here and have an H. It's going to have an H. So where the double bond was formed there are two double bond O's. The alkene double bond splits.
And in the zinc case, the H's stay intact and do not get replaced by OH. However, if you use ozone with peroxide, the OH's, oh, sorry, the H's off the double bond, the H's off the double bond become OH groups. So the product is exactly the same. However, off of that is an OH, woo 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 woo, there we go. So we have a carbon here, carbon here, carbon here, carbon here. Show my carbons so they stand out clearly. A carbon there. <clears throat> so the only difference between the ozonolysis reactions involving zinc, zinc is more reductive as an ozonolysis, uh, retaining the H's, where um, the Ozonolysis with peroxide is more oxidative, uh, producing OHs in place of the hydrogens. Now let's try one where the ring structure falls apart. In this one, we have a cyclooctane type ring, two double bonds. So this is a cyclooctadiene. Carbon here. And we can hit this with ozone. And to zinc. H plus. Wherever the double bond was, you replace it with double bond O's. So we get a double bond O here. A double bond O here. And we retain our H's, so the H's stay intact. So we get ethane diol. And then here we have a double bond O. So it's carbon here, carbon here. So the molecule has split up, producing ethane diol, diol, and hexane diol. And so you actually have two molecules, and that's not a charge, that's just a plus sign, I mean two different molecules form. Now we could use ozone and peroxide, but hot KMnO4 in acid does the same thing as well as ozone and peroxide. So let's put KM in a four heat. You can throw an acid. You get the exact same product. The only difference is the H's get oxidized to OH groups. Instead of being ethane diol, we have ethane dioic acid. So there you go. Hot KMnO4 carries out the same reaction as peroxide does. Our last question involves simple cyclohexene. 
There are H's off of this if I hit it with ozone. And then in the second step, immediately add zinc H+. Plus. I will rupture the double bond, producing double bond O's. In the case of zinc, the hydrogens coming off the double bond, they stay hydrogens. You notice there's six carbons, so if I was to write this out as a straight chain, it would look like this. And this is hexane dial. These two molecules are exactly the same. You don't have to draw this bottom structure. The top structure is perfectly acceptable as it is just a line formula for the molecule. If you use hot KMnO4 and acid, it is exactly the same. Has the same effect as using ozone with peroxide and acid. Ozone with peroxide and acid though so, replaces the H with OHs. And here we have hexane dioic acid. Be the same as the top molecule except we'd have OHs instead of the H's off this. We get carboxylic acid groups. Well, there you have it. The solution to the homework problem dealing with oxidation of alkenes. I'm Dr. Brian Lloyd. This is my scribble cast. I thank you for listening. Thank you very much.